Hello guys, this is all from Opus channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're going to talk about Watchtower, an easy way to update your containers from Docker. And I also am going to show you how to update them manually, Portainer. In this occasion I got the version 2.11, it's been installed with a specific uh, version, but I'm going to show you how to change that to the latest version and how to auto update using Watchtower. Don't forget to like and subscribe, don't forget to share the videos and also don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified all the information including this documentation about Watchtower in the description below. So guys without any delay let's go and start. Alright so as you can see from my gist this is the code there this is the, uh, the actual link, as you can see here. You can copy from the web page there, or you can copy from the gist. It's up to you. Now, once you copy the actual text, what we're going to do, we're going to create a new stack. I already got one. So you got stack, as you can see, a watchtower. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it. So I'm actually show you rather than not showing you. That's much better. So let's remove that and let's click on add the stack. You put the name of the stack. And then what you've done after that, you're going to paste the code in the web editor, as you can see here. Now, I also am going to add extra few lines that you don't see here, but you will see because I'm going to edit and add to start automatically every time Docker restarts. And I also am going to use extra options and I'm going to show you now in a second. I'm going to add the same line here. Now I'm going to make sure that is in the right spot. Otherwise you get error when you start to deploy the actual container. So let's try this one here, deploy that. And as you can see, there is an error because I didn't do it properly. It got to go under the image. As you can see, under the eye of the image and under the volume. That's it. That's what it's going to be. I think you're going to remove an extra line there. So we go to the deploy now and we should have it working in no time. And here we go. Now, as default, the actual, the first time you start Watchtower, the update starts after 24 hours. I done it this way because I wanted to show you that it takes 24 hours. Because a lot of people before, I think I, I mentioned in one another tutorial that I done, it says why it takes so long. As you can see there, 24 hours, 23 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds there. So I'm going to show now how you can actually change by adding an extra uh, line to do this every 30 seconds. So without delay, let's go and let's change that. Or actually, I should say, let's add the actual line. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'll go back to stack, click on Watchtower. I'm going to go to the editor. Now we're going to make a space between the restart and unless stopped and the volume at the line six and eight or seven, really. And I'm going to add the command interval 30 as it is dash dash interval space 30. That is 30 seconds. I'm going to redeploy and now it will start to do the update of the containers every 30 seconds, as I'm going to show you in a second. Let's go back to containers, go back to Watchtower, and as you can see now, the first check will be performed after 29 seconds. Technically, it's the 30 seconds. And that's it. This is how it works. Now it's going to just update on one container. I think it's going to be, con um, I think it's the NGINX, the one is going to be done. I think it's the only one that is updated at this stage. And I'm going to show you the line as soon as they come up here. And then I'm going to show you how to manually, with just three lines, to update your portainer through the command line. And there we go. As you can see, proxy manager has been stopped. And soon you will see the proxy manager has been updated. It shouldn't really take long. And as you can see, the session has been done. Zero failed, three scanned, and one updated. No notification, of course. So here we go. Now we've done that. I'm going to close it and I'm going to open the PuTTY uh, terminal. So I'm going to show you how to manually update Portainer to the latest, of course, version. All right, I just opened my terminal. I'm going to log in with my credentials. And once I'm in, I'm going to start the update of a Portainer. And here we go. We are inside now. Now let me close this one up here. And here we go again on my gist on how to do it manually. 
again, I'm, uh, I don't know if this one is available, if he's on, you know, uh, uh, you know, if he's visible, I'm not sure, but I will, I'll have a look. But anyway, just in case, I'm going to leave the information below. So as you can see, there are three lines, and we're going to do it once after the other. Make sure that you use sudo, all right? So it's going to be sudo, and then the rest of the lines. So we're going to stop Portainer. We do sudo docker rm Portainer rm as a remove Portainer. That's the first thing you want to do. I'm going to add now my password to execute. Now it's been done, has been stopped and removed. So now I'm going to uh, pull the latest version of Portainer on the system. I'm going to press enter. Again, sudo at beginning. And here we go, it's downloading the latest version. Right, that's been done. So now we're going to execute the last line. Again, as the last time, make sure you go sudo at the beginning of the line. All right, so I'm going to do sudo space and i'm going to paste there the actual uh port is going to be 9000 for this installation on the other one i add the 9443 okay so as you can see on the top there in the, in the bar 9443 here we go i'm gonna change that it's been i've been totally logged out of course because of the uh of the update so what i'm going to do i'm going to ref leave a little bit and then i'm going to refresh okay and as you can see now on port 9000 is working i'm going to put exactly the same credentials that i had there before let me remove this now because it's that's in an email and here we go we're back on the latest version of portia version 2.13 before we had 2.11 now, in this case, now it's the latest version, so Watchtower will automatically update that as well, okay? This is the reason why it didn't update the, the, the other version. So now, guys, as you can see, Watchtower was restarted automatically, and now every 30 seconds, it will update. It will search for the updates. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching this small tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Goodbye.